guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today is a tutorial on After Effects, which uh, I'm not too sure really what to call it at this moment in time. Uh, but it's basically where sort of like little particles or dust, uh, whatever you kind of make it out to be, kind of rises and it kind of slowly moves up. And it kind of looks something like this. This is often used in uh, some like cinematic scenes yeah, and whatnot. Uh, probably would look better behind a um, like some content on top of that, uh, but I do not want to get copyrighted, and I don't really have anything to use on that would kind of clear your clear clear your view of the whole thing that much. So you kind of get the gist of it. It's kind of just particles expanding, and here you're just going to have to use particular. Now it is pretty basic. Particular can be found on Red Giant. I think it's Red Giant, uh, search it anyway, After Effects, Plugins, um, yeah, you can get, you can get that from there, you can get the trial, and you can also get the full version if you know what you're doing. But without further ado, I'm going to make a new composition. I'm going to make a new composition, uh, it doesn't matter about the time frame for this tutorial, but I'm going to have it 12, 8 by 7, 20. And there is the phone. So you know what? I'm going to pause the tour here and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, forgot where I was. Yeah, made a new composition. Go to new solid. I'm going to make the first one black. Make comp size. I'm going to make another new solid. Right click new solid. And uh, make this one white. Now the white one's going to be the particle layer. So I'm going to go to effect trap code. Trap code, there we go, and particular. Now I've kind of scrubbed through the scene here. You notice that the particles have kind of exuberate out from the middle and they kind of die after a matter of seconds and then more kind of more regenerate. And it's kind of a continual cycle. And there's many different settings here, and my cat jumped to me again. Always when I'm recording. Oh, there we go. Uh, thing about my <laughs> she was just on my desk, my cat a second ago, and she's just following the mouth for about five minutes. Pretty funny. Anyway, emitter, particles per second, uh, I want to kind of cut that down dramatically, something like five, and I'm going to have, make sure this particle, particular thing is ticked up here, I'm going to drag it down to the, to below, kind of at the bottom of the canvas in the middle, and that is about all for emitter. I kind of try and work out what I'm going for, and then kind of change it as I go, we're going to different things as opposed to go through emitter, do this, particle, do this. I kind of like to experiment and see how things go. So, I'll go to physics and gravity. If you have it on zero, obviously the gravity will be constant and it'll be like the, what the gravity actually is in real. Actually, no. No, no, no. That's completely wrong. There is no gravity, that's why it goes out from the middle. So, I'm going to make it at minus one. So, what this would do is just make the gravity. So it'd be basically be anti gravity, so we know gravity. And as you see, it's kind of coming up here, which is we we, we get we get where we've got to start, but it's going a bit slow maybe, and it doesn't really go that far. So we need to change this, and I have to figure out what I did before to make this correct. Uh, life particles per second. I'm gonna add this up to about seven point six. I kind of like just to see whereabouts it goes. <laughs> Uh, this, I'm going to change the particle type to glow sphere, just for that bit of added effect. Increase the feather. I'm going to lower the size down to like two. And I'm going to go ahead and play this again. If I'm going too fast for you, people say I sometimes go too fast. Um, it's because I'm kind of conscious about time. Because if someone sees a 10 minute or so tutorial, you don't want to watch it. So, you know, you just pause the video. You can always pause, that's why it's there. And yeah, so there we go. That's kind of that's looking good. That is the majority of it out of the way. What you maybe could do is, um, you notice that they just finished just before the edge of the box, so it will kind of look maybe a bit stupid. So I just go to the top right corner. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to increase the size, like so, and line it up at the bottom. And that should be something around. So, so we're just going to go through it here. You see that they're coming up. And there you go. That's just basically the settings to use. On kind of how to get that kind of... Um, not, I really don't know how to call it. It's kind of like particular, but... 
yeah, particularly when that's the name of the plugin. Anyway, that's how you do that effect on Cinematics. Uh, kind of simple, just some effects really nice to me. You may have kind of figured out yourself. I'm just annoying phone sound. It really gives me a headache. And then that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, it's been Connor with Chrome Designs. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.